For my dolce, I'm making ram made in Napoli, tender spiced chocolate cookies. And it all starts off with dry ingredients. Flour, sugar, a little cocoa for that big chocolatey hit. A little baking powder, just to lighten those cookies. And every good cookie needs a pinch of salt. Now for a couple of warm, fragrant spices. Cinnamon and ground cloves. And a quick mix. Now for those wet ingredients. A little butter. Cookies always taste good with a little butter. First I want to work that butter in. And it is that butter in these cookies that keep them nice and tender. Now, a little honey, and the honey will keep those cookies a little on the supple side. And the bright, zesty flavor of orange. And you can imagine Sicilian oranges sitting in the sun all day long, tree after tree. And think about how wonderfully well orange works with cinnamon and cloves. Now, a little milk. And a couple of eggs. Keep those ingredients all together. And that ought to do it. I have a good cake batter consistency for my cookies. Now all I need to do is portion them out. And to make that easy, I'm using an ice cream scoop. Plus it also makes sure they're all equal in size. Rame de Napoli cookies are cooked and cooled. So now it's on to the finishing touches. First, a little apricot glaze. And this is nothing more than a great apricot jam, warmed up with a little water, lightly brushed. From there, they get dipped into a bath of dark chocolate. I've just gently heated over a water bath. And then from that chocolate bath into some toasted pistachios. Italians love their pistachio on dessert. And that is one finished Rami di Napoli. Only 11 more to go. And there we have it. They look quite beautiful and really easy to do. Rame de Napoli. I'm hoping you'll agree with me when I say there's always room for one little cookie, especially when they're freshly made. I know there is in my house. That soft scented cookie, and then those warming spices, all topped off with crunchy pistachio, seems a perfect way to wrap up a Sicilian feast.